The following program is sponsored by CBN. Well, welcome to the 700 Club. People throughout the South are digging out today after a slow-moving winter storm dumped almost a foot of snow in some areas. At least 10 people died because of the storm, and much of the region is still facing extremely cold weather. Dale Hurd has the story. This isn't the kind of weather most Southerners signed up for. Record-breaking freezing temperatures, chaos on icy roadways, and even death. New Orleans was under a deep freeze warning. Um, it's crazy for us in the deep south because we don't have any, you know, anything that's prepared for this kind of weather. And our pipes are freezing. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. The sun feels good. That's the redeeming thing right now. Some residents in the Atlanta suburbs made the most of a rare snowy day with golf cart sledding. Well, living in Georgia, we don't get snow very often, so it's really a great surprise when we can look outside and we can see snow and know that we're going to have a great snow day. It's rare here. This is the second time this year we've had snow. Most years we don't get any, so this is great fun. Some parts of North Carolina saw as much as 10 inches of snow, while in Virginia, this man was wearing shorts when his Jeep flipped. They're going to be like, who's this crazy man with shorts on in the snow? At least four people died in Louisiana, including an eight-month-old baby in a car that slid into a canal in suburban New Orleans. Two others died along an icy stretch of I-75 southeast of Atlanta. In North Carolina, state troopers responded to 1,600 crashes. About 30,000 homes and businesses were without power. The cold drove record electrical usage in parts of the South where many homes rely on electricity for heating and hot water. But many Southerners still love this rare glimpse of what many Northerners wish they had a lot less of. It is beautiful. It, this is God's masterpiece. Warmer weather is on the way, but it is still only mid-January. And forecasters are warning there's plenty of bad winter weather ahead for most of the country, including the South. Dale Hurd, CBN News. Well, stay inside, stay warm. If you have to go out, please walk. Don't drive a car uh, and just wait you know, in a few hours, literally a few hours. This is all going to melt away. In other news, the Trump administration is setting up a new division to protect religious freedom. John Jessup has that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. John. Thanks, Gordon. The Department of Health and Human Services is establishing a conscience and religious freedom division. The department's director of civil rights says governments have treated conscience claims with hostility instead of protection. That could include protections for people in the health care field who don't want to take part in abortions. But the new division won't get involved in cases like bakers, florists and photographers who refuse to celebrate same sex marriages. Well, President Trump has handed out his fake news awards, tweeting a link to the GOP party website, which hailed 2017 as a year of unrelenting bias, unfair news coverage, and even downright fake news. The list includes a series of stories that turned out to be wrong, like a CNN report about former FBI Director James Comey disputing Trump's claim that he was not under investigation at the time. Comey actually confirmed that claim when he testified before a congressional committee. You can see the entire list on our website, CBNNews.com, including Trump's number one choice, a New York Times column by economist Paul Krugman claiming the stock market would never recover if Trump were elected. But in fact, stocks have had a huge move upward since Trump's election, closing above 26,000 for the first time Wednesday. Many analysts say one key reason stocks have gone up is because of Trump's tax cuts for businesses and individuals. Well, the president says the U.S. will not move its embassy to Jerusalem within a year, contrary to an earlier statement by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying the move will happen within a year. But the president told Reuters, we're not really looking at that. The embassy is currently in Tel Aviv, and Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said last month the move would be three years at the earliest. Trump also told Reuters the Jerusalem building would be, quote, a beautiful embassy. Gordon? Well, we think that uh, three years is, is a wonderful time. At the same time, there's an annex. Uh, the consulate has an annex. It's a fairly new building built within the last 20 years. Uh, and if he wanted to move the ambassador to Jerusalem, uh, he could do so. The consulate in Jerusalem, the U.S. consulate in Jerusalem, goes all the way back to the 1850s. 
Um, the formal consulate building was uh, around 1910, 1912, and uh, that's near the old city. But the annex is plenty big enough to hold the embassy if you wanted to make that move today. But I understand, let's build a proper embassy, let's make it beautiful, uh, and let's do it right. We just need to hurry up that timetable. But congratulations to the president for declaring Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. It's a long time overdue, should have been done 50 years ago, and congratulations for that. Courageous step uh, and honored Israel as a sovereign nation. They get to determine their capital, not the international community, not the Palestinian Authority, not the UN. They get to determine their capital, and we should recognize their determination. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club right after this. Jane Purity has a lucrative career and the comfortable lifestyle that goes along with it. Still at one time, she was facing $4.3 million of debt. Jane knew it would take a miracle to pay it off, and that's exactly what she got after she learned to give her way out of debt. Jane Parati is a marketing consultant who has led campaigns for major corporations such as Kellogg's, Hilton, and Holiday Inn. She's done well over the years, but at first, she had problems managing her money. And at one point, she was $4.3 million in debt. The number of $4.3 million came from credit card debt. It came from mortgage. And what's so seductive about the world is we were making the payments. Hey, it was all okay, right? But that's not what the word says. The word says that the borrower is always the slave to the lender. Jane knew she had to cut expenses. Vacations were out, home repairs put on hold. Still, climbing out of a multi-million dollar debt seemed impossible. I went to God in prayer about it, and I knew I'd never make enough money my whole life to, to, to do it the world's way. Jane began reading Christian books on money management. There, she learned the importance of giving. Oh, well, I thought that was crazy because it was backwards from what the world teaches. But I found as I heard about tithing and I, I heard about giving, that God got, has got his own economy and that you can't outgive God. And God told me to give my way out of debt. Soon after she began giving, Jane saw work pick up. I was getting calls from people I never heard of before, and it was coming in big chunks for my business, too. New clients, as well as clients from the past, were calling on Jane. Her financial turnaround was underway. A few years later, the same year she became a CBN partner, Jane was debt-free. But soon, she felt God putting her to the test. He started to tell me to double tithe. And I went, uh-oh, <laughs> I wonder if something's coming. And sure enough, a year later, it did. The year was 2008, and all around her, Jane saw people hit by the Great Recession. And I'm sitting there as this ocean of calm because I knew God was gonna protect me, and he did. Increased business came in from the clients that I already had. Sometimes it was a little job that would turn into a big job, or sometimes it was somebody with whom I hadn't worked in five or 10 years who would all of a sudden call and need me to do a project for them. Jane encourages people, no matter their financial situation, to trust God and give. Once again, when you get out of God's way <laughs> and trust Him to do it, He works miracles. He will work miracles for you if you do the same principle. Here it is. Here's the principle. It's from Proverbs 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Well, that happened for Jane. It will happen for you if you just follow the same principle. Honor him, put him first, and everything else will fall into place. Well, Sherry Hewitt was completely down and out. She had no job, no income. She was living in a campground with no running water or power. Well, that's when Sherry decided to draw a line in the sand, and she used her last $50 to do it. Sherry Hewitt drove a truck for years until she had an accident on the job and was unable to work. I had three surgeries. I was on workman's comp. We couldn't pay rent. And 
We lost everything. I just gave up. Eventually, she and her husband, Dean, separated. Cherry struggled to survive at a campground in Canyon, Texas. I was paying $400 a month rent with no running water, no, no power. One night, Sherry was invited to church, where she accepted Christ. She began studying the Bible and was drawn to what it said about tithing. What always struck me was the scripture, he rebukes the devourer for our sakes. And that to me meant protection. I trusted what that word said. And I, at that moment, I had $50 left. And I says, I'm drawing a line in the sand tonight and I'm becoming a tither. So I put that last $50 in that envelope. An hour after she tithed, Sherry picked up a newspaper and looked at the classifieds. And I found an ad that said, two bedroom, one bath mobile home for rent, you feed the horses. And it was very, it was cheaper than what I was paying for now. I got excited, and so I called about it. The owner immediately accepted her application. And just two days later, Sherry got a job at a garden center. I just was blessed over and over. And every time I got paid, I tithed. Sherry also began watching the 700 Club and decided to become a partner. I love to sow good seed into good places. I love being a partner with 700 Club. I love what they do. A few months later, Dean called Sherry to ask about coming home. And he says, you probably got somebody else in your life now. And I said, I do. I've fallen in love. And I remember telling him, he goes, oh, I go, it's Jesus. And he says, Sherry, he says, I want what you got. The two of them reconciled, and Dean started attending church with her. They prayed together and agreed to tithe faithfully on what they had. They kept giving as Dean got a construction job and steady promotions. In just three years, their income tripled. Whatever we tithe, we get back either financially or some other blessing that we might receive. As their income grew, so did their tithe. The Hewitts also increased their giving to CBN, and in 2016, they became Thousand Club members. They both say that tithing was the key to both their finances and their marriage. Tithing touches every aspect of your life, every aspect of your life. It doesn't just bless your storehouse, it blesses every part of your life if you're willing and you're obedient. Here's a principle for you, it's from Psalm 50. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. And Sherry, she had the day of trouble. It was a long time of trouble. And she finally got to the point where I'm gonna draw a line in the sand and today's gonna be the day and from this day forward, I'm going to tithe, I'm going to call upon the, upon the Lord I'm going to let him know how much I trust him with my finances, with my life, with my all in all. And you saw the results. You saw what happened. It can happen to you if you just adopt the same principle of life, that you honor him first. You trust him. You acknowledge him in all of your ways and call upon him in those days of trouble with a secure knowledge that you're following his word. You're living life his way. That's when you get the relief, that's when you get the blessings, and it's all wonderful what he wants to do for you. Now, I've got some great news. We've got partners from across the nation, from Oregon to Ohio to New Jersey to Georgia, all banding together saying, we love giving to CBN, and we want to challenge others to give $219,000. And let's pray. Lord, we just ask for a blessing for the partners who made it possible to issue this challenge, and for those watching, making decisions, speak to them. Let them know that you have their future. Do it now, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. $219,000 is the challenge amount. What that means is existing CBM partners will match your giving dollar for dollar if you do it in the next 42 minutes and 50 seconds. So call us now, 1-800-700-7000, and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. I'm ready to draw my own line in the sand. 2018 will be the year that I start tithing, and I want to continue tithing throughout my life. If you want to do that, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Now, how much is it to be a member of the 700 Club? 
is just $20 a month. That breaks out to 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold for you. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year, and that's $84 a month. But let's just focus on 700 Club. What can you do with $20 a month? But when you join together, when you say, I'll put my 20 in, and you put that in with tens of thousands of other people, well, now suddenly you can do a whole lot. Uh, you can reach out to the world with the gospel. You can be a part of preaching the gospel around the world. We have production centers located strategically. We're producing Christian programs in 43 different languages. We have operation blessing centers around the world. When disaster strikes, we're already there on the ground, ready to provide help. We're helping orphans in over 60 countries around the world. We're helping our, uh, the home front, our active duty military and their families. Uh, we're doing Superbook now to reach the, the children of the world with the stories of the gospel. All of that is made possible because people said, yes, I'll give $20 a month. If that's you, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000, and say, I'm on board with you. Call us now. Terry? Well, when you become a 700 Club partner, we have a wonderful gift for you. It's Pat Robertson's latest teaching on answered prayer. And in this DVD, Pat shares his personal experiences with the power of prayer, the same power that enabled him to launch a global ministry and so much more. It started with only $3. Prayer is a communication with God. It's a powerful exchange between God and man. We're going to answer many of your questions in Answered Prayer, How to Pray Effectively and See God Work in Your Life. In Pat Robertson's latest DVD, Answered Prayer, you'll learn the biblical principles of prayer and how to get your prayers answered and hear miraculous stories of answers to prayer from Pat's own faith-filled journey. We share some of the lessons that I've learned along the way. Plus, you'll see dramatic, true stories of life-changing answers to prayer. God proves himself time and time again. He's in the room with us, answering people's prayers. I think I survived because God has a bigger plan for my life. The doctor was just like, I've never seen anything like this before. And he hears your prayers. I never saw this coming. Every great work of God is preceded by prayer. Answered Prayer how to pray effectively and see God work in your life. Call now or go to cbn.com. Every great work of God is preceded by prayer. That's something we all need to grab hold of and live by. It's the core of what's taught in answered prayer. Conversations with Pat about his history in the ministry with prayer. Also some amazing stories that will build your faith. And of course, the word of God and his promises to you and me. We want you to have this. And it's yours when you join the 700 Club at any level today. Call now, 1-800-700-7000. Gordon just gave that huge challenge from people all across the country. That means every dollar you give when you call will be matched dollar for dollar. So literally, your giving goes twice as far when you call right now. Give us a call. Gordon? Well, from fashion to tips on motherhood, Molly Stillman blogs about it all. And now she wants to share the one piece of advice that rescued her from $36,000 of credit card debt. Hey guys, it's Molly Stillman. Molly Stillman is the host of a successful lifestyle and fashion blog. She has a loyal following of moms and even major corporations. But just a few years ago, Molly was a depressed 20-something, drowning in $36,000 of credit card debt. I was so terrified because I didn't, I didn't know what I was going to do. Molly's financial crisis started in college. She signed up for tempting credit card offers and went shopping to relieve stress. When you're 18 and you don't have financial education and you see a credit card with a $10,000 limit, you're like, I have $10,000 to spend. When Molly started her first entry-level job, she owed more money than her annual salary. Each month it was a little bit more difficult to pay those bills. I can't even count how many times I'd overdrafted my account. Molly began working side jobs to try to make extra money. But before long, the financial pressure became overwhelming. And I started looking at the numbers. It was almost as if they were coming off of the page because I could see the mistakes I'd made, like literally glaring me in the face. Molly sought financial counseling and began the slow process of paying down her debt. She cut expenses, sold her possessions, and even got groceries from a food bank. But despite her efforts, she says she still felt hopeless. I reached this breaking point because working four jobs 
and barely making ends meet, it just really starts to wear you down. That's when Molly agreed to attend church with her new boyfriend, John. I've tried to do everything my way for a really long time, and look where it got me. I said, all right, God, I'm gonna do things your way. Several weeks later, Molly's pastor preached a sermon about tithing and giving. It was the first time in my life that I'd even heard the word tithing. And I remember hearing some of the things like giving 10% of your income back to God. He talks about the Lord you know, throwing out so many blessings that you can't even, can't even store them all. The next Sunday, Molly gave her first offering of $50. From that day forward, I surrendered not just my heart, but I surrendered my wallet to God. John helped Molly create a new budget that included giving. And so she'd already decided, okay, well, I'm following Jesus now. So for her, there was no doubt. Yeah, I'm going to pay the tithe, and it's going to be a step of faith. A few weeks later, I received my first bonus at work. So Molly tithed on her first bonus check and increased her giving again. As I started to give more, I started to see a direct correlation in the blessings I was receiving I received another bonus at work. I got a raise. Inevitably, when she'd pay her tithe first, something would happen. The following year, Molly received a job offer that doubled her annual salary. I realized that he had been true to his word and he had been so faithful the whole time. Molly paid off all her credit card debt and became Mrs. John Stillman. With no debt and new financial security, Molly was able to quit her day job and devote all her efforts to her lucrative blog. Molly and John continue to give generously as a couple because they know giving is the key to success. When I saw her really surrender her finances to God, I could very tangibly see the change from not tithing to tithing. So my message to people is take God at his word. You know, he says, trust me in this and see if I don't you know, throw open the floodgates of blessings. It was about taking that act of faith when I really did not know how it was going to work. When the Lord said, trust me, I did. And, and he proved faithful. And he will prove faithful for you. Here's some things that Molly had to do. Number one, she had to ri get rid of those credit cards. Uh, I really encourage people, if you're overspending on credit cards for consumer debt, and you're racking up consumer debt, you need some plastic surgery. You need to take out some scissors and cut those credit cards up. I know it's hard to do. I know in today's world it's very difficult uh, to get by without a credit account. Uh, but at the same time, if that's a temptation for you to get into consumer debt, get rid of it. And then follow what Molly did. She tithed. She did it faithfully. And then she started record recording how God was faithful in return. This isn't some get rich quick kind of thing. This isn't some on and, on and off again thing. This is something where you're consistent with it. That's when you see the blessings. I've summed all this up into a, a phrase. It's 10, 10, 80. Other people have, have it as well. And, and it's a really good way to view life financially and how you live. Number one, have a 10% of your income. Total up your total income and say, what's the 10% of that? And tithe it. Then make sure you're paying yourself. So many Americans neglect this part, and Christians neglect it as well, where you're not paying yourself. Uh, the reason you're working is so that you can earn, and in that earning, set aside uh, savings. And it's for the future, it's for investment. If you start saving 10% of your yearly income, over time, that will grow. And if you put it into safe investments, those investments will grow. And you'll have something wonderful at the end of 10 or 20 or 30 years. You can go to any retirement calculator and start looking how things just start accumulating. It's wonderful what happens. But the absolute key to it is living on 80% of your income. Make sure your expenses don't exceed 80% of your income so you can be faithful in your tithe, faithful in your savings. If you do these things, wonderful things will happen over your lifetime. And it's never too late to start. One of the great blessings of being out of debt is to not worry about it anymore. It's wonderful what happens. 
All you have to do is trust God with the tithe, trust God with your finances, live with this very simple rule, and you'll see the blessing. Now, if you want to start giving, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. If you want to draw a line in the sand this year and say, this is the year I'm going to faithfully give and I'm going to have a lifetime of giving, do it. 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, there's nothing like a crisis to bring you to your knees, right? And more than ever, that's when you need to know how to pray with power. Take a look at this real life emergency from our new DVD on Answered Prayer. I got a phone call that Zach had been in an accident. He had some of the deepest electrical injuries I had ever seen. The doctor told us he's not gonna make it. And we were saying, come on, Zach, come back to us, Zach. And that's like the minute the prayer started. See miraculous stories like this in Answered Prayer. Pat Robertson's latest teaching uncovers the keys to help you get results, break down barriers, and build dynamic faith to receive your Answered Prayer. Available now. God always hears our prayers, but he especially hears those desperate prayers where you are in a crisis like they were and you need an answer and you need it now. God loves you and he always hears your prayers. Well, we want to encourage your faith with this. It's called Answered Prayer. This is Pat Robertson's latest teaching. You can learn how to pray with power and authority and so much more. We want you to have it. How do you get it? Great question. Just go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is that? 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner and to help so many people around the world. Now, I know a lot of you are already doing that, but it's a brand new year, and I'd like to challenge you to go to your phones and take it up to our gold level. That's just $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you back with three DVDs, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, we have many levels here at CBN. Our Thousand Club level is just $84 a month or higher. When you do that, you are going to get five of our brand new teaching called Answered Prayer. In here, you are going to learn so many stories from Pat Robertson of the answered prayers he has seen over his lifetime of ministry, including CBN. This is an incredible DVD that really could change your life. Terry? Well, when you join the 700 Club, you're helping people literally all over the world, as well as right here at home. Alan Abshire is a retired Army vet who had to flee the rising waters of Hurricane Harvey in the middle of the night. Alan escaped with his life, but he lost everything he owned. When Hurricane Harvey devastated Port Arthur, Texas, 78-year-old Army veteran Alan Abshire had to be rescued by boat. It was around 2 o'clock in the morning, my neighbor was beating on my door, and he told me, Mr. Allen, the water's coming in your house. And they relayed the message to a great big flat-bottom boat with a motor, and they came right down the middle of 40th Street and picked up over a dozen people. It was pretty bad because the water was around 10 or 12 inches. I lost everything in my home. Making it even harder on it, the hurricane hit a little more than a year after he lost his wife to cancer. Alan faithfully visits his wife's grave each day to preserve her memory. We loved each other very much. At night, before we'd go to bed, we'd say, good night, God bless you, I love you. And they put that on the bottom of her grave marker. After Hurricane Harvey, Alan's home was left in ruins. Without flood insurance, he didn't know where to turn for help. That's when Operation Blessing arrived. When uh, I seen Operation Blessing come to my door, I didn't know what to expect, but I've heard about them being all over the world, and it was wonderful that the way they came in and helped me out. Operation Blessing helped Alan take the first steps of cleaning up his home, but that wasn't all we had in store. Operation Blessing planned a complete home makeover. There was just one small catch. We wanted it to be a surprise. We worked around the clock preparing Alan's home for the big day. Not only did we hang new sheetrock, but we put in new flooring, painted, and even brought in new furniture. Finally, after many days of hard work, Alan came home with his daughter and granddaughter for a surprise they'll never forget. Coming home was the greatest thing that happened to me in a long, long time. 
And then when they led me to the door and I was able to see inside my house, it looked like a brand new home. Y'all had made this thing about me being in the Army. That was real sweet and nice. And also in the bedroom, it said his favorite saying is, good night, God bless you, I love you. Doors back on, yeah. And then over the front bedroom, it says blessings. When I'd seen how beautiful a job y'all had done, I felt like I had been lifted. And I'll never forget y'all for what you've done for me and my family. In Jesus' name, thank you. We have all watched these natural disasters and the people who have suffered through them with compassion and just, uh, I don't even know, you watch it and you say, how did they survive that? Well, you've allowed us to go right into the middle of that. I'm just telling you the story of Alan, but there have been so many others, so many others. Thank you, 700 Club members. Those are our neighbors. Those are the people that we live with right here at home. You're also helping people around the world. You can make a huge difference when you join the 700 Club. So will you do that right now? Go to your phone and call. Our number is toll free. It's 1-800-700-7000. Join at whatever club level you feel you can. If you've never joined before, come on in. The water is great. We'd love to have you join with the rest of us. If you're already a 700 Club member at whatever level you're at, bump up a level. You'll help us make even more of a difference in the lives of thousands and thousands of people. So call now. Gordon? All right. If we can get the red number up, we've got 137,000 left on this $219,000 challenge. It's down to 135, and I'm taking it down again. Here's a 2,500 club member saying, I'm doubling this year All right. from Laurel Springs, North Carolina, $5,000. Then from Mary in New York, founder saying, you can count on me, $6,600. That takes us down to 123,000, 25 minutes. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Isaac and Luba are Holocaust survivors who live in Israel. Isaac remembers the days he spent in a Jewish ghetto better than he remembers yesterday. And for Luba, the same memories sit forever in her head and in her heart. In recent years, the couple has been struggling to come up with money just for food until they made friends with a team from CBN Israel. Isaac and Luba enjoy tending the flowers together on their balcony. It's a good distraction from their horrific memories of life as children in the Ukrainian ghettos of World War II. I remember those moments in the ghetto better than I remember yesterday. The Nazis came and they went from town to town killing the Jews. There was a Christian man who owned the bakery in our area. And when the Nazis came, he told them that there were no Jews here. So they went on. Both Isaac and Luba's fathers were fighting on the front with the Red Army, so their families had to survive in the ghetto on their own. Jews in the ghetto could not leave, and there was very little food. More than 10 people were forced to live in our small home, and they slept wherever they could. It was so cold, and disease spread. Half the population of the ghetto perished. One day I was with my mother in the square, and the soldier threatened to shoot us if she did not give up her gold earrings. She did, and he let us go. After they ran out of things to barter with, Isaac learned how to sew gloves and other clothing, which helped him and his mother endure until liberation. Both Luba and Isaac lost many family members and friends by the end of the war. It's something you never forget. It forever sits in your head and in your heart. And it's there. It's always there. Isaac and Luba met after the war and started a family, eventually moving to Israel. They will soon celebrate their 60th anniversary. But in recent years, they've started to feel isolated, and it's been difficult for them to come up with enough money for food. So CBN Israel regularly takes them groceries. It means so much to us when you come to our house and bring us food. It means much more than material help. You give us happiness that is worth millions. We also put on special events for Holocaust survivors throughout Israel, like this one, Christ Church in Jerusalem's Old City. Survivors share their stories with Christians, and Christians honor them with songs and fellowship. We treat them to a meal and give each Holocaust survivor a walker or cane if needed. 
It's a miracle when Christians meet us and they want to know us and they want to hear our story. My spirit is lifted and there is a joy in my heart. We live for meetings like this with you. Thank you so much to the Christians that love us. Because we love them. I don't know what could be better. We have the same God and God unites us. It's wonderful what happens when people care enough to give, to be involved. It's amazing and just to share love with one another. If you want to be a part of that, give us a call 1-800-700-7000 and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. When you call, ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. The bank does all the work. We send as our gift to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or just go to cbn.com give. And when you give monthly on the internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. 98,000 is the amount left in a $219,000 challenge and we're taking the red number down. LaGrange, Kentucky, a founder saying you can count on me, $8,400. And then a Chairman Circle member says, I want to give a special gift. Coriopolis, Pennsylvania, a one-time gift, $5,000. Yes. That all goes into this red number. It's down to 81,000, 21 minutes to go. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Coriopolis, Pennsylvania. That's where my sister lives, Gordon. I bet you didn't know that. No. Well, all of us want answers to our prayers, but have you ever thought that the words you speak could be hindering those answers? Take a look at this segment from Pat Robertson's latest DVD called Answered Prayer. Can I hinder prayer by making negative statements? Absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the Bible makes it clear is that a man shall eat good by the fruit of his lips. You, your confession is absolutely vital. You confess failure, you'll have failure. You confess sickness, you'll have sickness. So when we praise God, it isn't so much asking God. That's the, the secret that people need to recognize is if you want to have an answer to prayer, you declare it done in the name of Jesus. I love that teaching. If you want to have an answer to prayer, declare it done in the name of Jesus. So many of us, we don't even realize that we're speaking negativity over our lives and it, because the Bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue. You will have the fruit of your lips. So let's not just ask God largely, but let's start declaring largely over our lives for 2018. We want to encourage your faith with this answered prayer. This is Pat's latest teaching, how to pray and how to get answers. Who doesn't want this? We want you to have it. It's yours when you go to your phones right now. And just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Just 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner. Now, a lot of you are already there and you're doing a great job, but I'd like to encourage you in this brand new year to take it up a notch. Let's go up to our gold level, $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you back with three of Pat's new teaching, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, hey, a lot of us can. Let's take it up to our 1,000 Club level, just $84 a month or higher. You're going to get five of answered prayer. This is our gift when you call right now. Now we're in the middle of a big challenge. Let's put the number up to $219,000. we got 19 minutes left on the clock. That means every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. So this is a great deal and a great time to go to your phones. Gordon? 16 years ago, Dean Scallon was a struggling musician living in Nashville. Today, he's part of the popular music duo Branch and Dean. He loves what he does, and he knows the secret to his success has been his commitment to consistent giving. Dean Scallon, half of the country duo Branch and Dean, co-wrote and sings a hit song called The Dash. He says that one little line, seen between the years on gravestones, represents an entire lifetime. It's what you're going to do with that dash that matters. That's what matters. I'm going to spend my dash trying to help people. And I'm going to spend my dash serving God because there is no better way. Dean moved to Nashville 16 years ago to start his career in the music business. Back then, when he'd take a break from writing songs, he would sometimes watch TV. The only program I really got was CBN. On one of the three channels I got, I get to CBN because there's been some of those times of despair where I had nowhere else to turn. And, and you know, I wanted to get as close to God as I could. And, and uh, CBN was a source for that. So 
Um, anybody that preaches Jesus is someone I want to support. Dean struggled to make ends meet during those first few years in Nashville, but he continued to tithe. It was so hard here. We had good things going on, but just the money wasn't coming like it should. And, and I just said, all right, God, I mean, I'm down to fumes here. So I did the only thing I knew to do. I put it all on the plate. After he gave it to his church, a family member had heard that Dean was in need and decided to help him out. And the next week, I got a check for 20 grand, and uh, it just started escalating from there. Dean has continued to tithe faithfully over the years. Recently, he became a member of CBN's Founders Club. And the more I've ever given, the more he's always come back. Tithing and is a measure of faith, and it's about, um, it is about believing that God can give you the tools you need to be prosperous. I believe that. In addition to being a writer and performer, Dean also produces for other artists at his company, Straight Shooter Music. I'm so happy about it, and, and I wake up every day loving what I do and, I, and trying to be better. And I, and I do that to, to glorify God because He's given me everything. As God has blessed Dean, He in turn gives to others. For people out there who are trying or wondering if they should give, if what does it even mean? Try God. That's all. That's all. That's my challenge to you right now. Is try it. I say try to have some faith and try God. Try giving. Try it. Try it to, and see. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And when you follow His rules, His principles, that's when the blessings happen. I've got some wonderful news from partners from New Mexico. Say they want to add to the challenge. They want to add sixty-seven thousand. Yes. Take it up to two hundred eighty-six thousand, and let's pray, Lord. For the partners in New Mexico who made it possible, bless them. And for those watching right now, encourage, speak to them. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We've got a big challenge. The red number, 112,000. Uh, so 15 minutes and 22 seconds. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Mr. Zhang worked 14-hour days, and his wife sold the only jewelry she owned. And still, the couple could not come up with enough money for the heart surgery that their daughter desperately needed. Time was running out. They knew if she didn't have the operation right away, their daughter could die. Mrs. Zhang wanted to give her daughter something special when she was born. So she made Yi Xin a pillow with shooting stars on it. This was my way of saying to Yi Xin, I hope all your wishes come true. But soon after Yi Xin was born, she started having health problems. Yi Xin couldn't eat. She was always crying or sleeping in short of breath. And I could feel her heartbeat really fast. She had high fevers. One lasted for over a week, and no medicine helped. After extensive testing, she was diagnosed first with a hole in her heart, and then blockage in her pulmonary arteries. The doctor said there was too much pressure on her heart, and if she didn't get a surgery right away, she could die. So Mr. Zhang started working 12 to 14 hour days, and Mrs. Zhang sold the only necklace she had. If it could help save my baby's life, it was worth it. We didn't have any other way. But it still wasn't enough for surgery, and time was running out. So Mrs. Zhang wished on many stars, asking for a miracle. But none of my wishes came true. It made me so upset and angry. I felt like I couldn't trust anything. Meanwhile, Yi Xin's grandmother is a Christian and was praying to God for help. Soon, Mrs. Zhang started praying too. Not long after this, a friend put the couple in touch with CBN and we quickly set up surgery for Yi Xin. They took out her heart and fixed it perfectly. Now my daughter is healed and can live a normal life. She's lovely, like an angel. She's gained weight and is getting taller. We know it was Jesus who brought us our miracle. I don't believe in wishing on stars anymore. Now I believe in Jesus. 
In honor of Yi Xin's recovery and the couple's new faith, we had a new pillow made for the family. We are all so happy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, CBN. As a parent, I can't imagine watching my child's health fail day after day after day, then having it confirmed that she had serious problems. There's a solution, but I could never afford to be able to provide what she needed. You know, you and I have an opportunity to literally save lives by stepping into the depth of people's needs. And when we do it together, it's not a big deal. You can go to your phone and call right now and become a 700 Club member for $20 a month. That's 65 cents a day. That may not seem like a lot, but when we all link arms together, we can touch the world with the love of Christ. Will you go to your phone and do that now? Join the 700 Club at whatever level you feel led to do it. And when you do it, will you do it using Pledge Express? That's electronic monthly giving. It's pretty great. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to remember anything. The bank does it for you. But it saves us some administrative costs so we can put even more of your gift right into the lives of children like you, Shin, and others who are in need, both here at home and internationally. When you use Pledge Express, our way of saying thank you for caring about others is to send you Power for Life teachings. You'll get one of these every month. They think We think they'll bless you, and I know that you will be a blessing to others. So please call now and say you want to join and do it using Pledge Express. Gordon? Well, as an orphan, Priya was forced to beg on the streets of India when she was just a small child. Well, today she has a rewarding career as a nurse. She says her life now is nothing less than a miracle and that CBN partners were the answer to her prayers. Priya was just four years old when both of her parents died and she became an orphan. Then she went to live with relatives. They did not look after me properly. I cried a lot then. Those relatives gave her away to another family that made her beg near Hindu temples. After a full day's work, I would hardly be given anything to eat. Priya was eventually adopted by a couple that couldn't have children because they have a non-contagious form of leprosy. I just love the way they welcomed me. They made me feel wanted and special. Her father owns a small poultry business and worked hard to save for Priya's school fees. The Christian school I went to introduced me to Jesus. I prayed a lot. That kept my hope alive. Priya dreamed of becoming a nurse, but knew she could never afford nursing school. Then a friend told her about a new medical program sponsored by CBN. We gave Priya a full scholarship to go to four years of nursing school. It was nothing less than a miracle for me. I prayed for something like this, and God sent Sibian to answer my prayers. Priya was recently named the most outstanding student in our first graduating class of nurses. Now that I am a nurse, I help others get physical healing and spiritual healing as well. And I want to make Sibian proud, so the people who gave me this scholarship believe it was worth supporting me. In addition to taking care of her patients, Priya can help take care of her parents too. They sacrifice their personal needs just to fulfill my dreams. Now it's my turn to help them. I look forward to making the lives of other people better through my service. CBN's help was the best thing that ever happened to me. Be a part of it. Be a part of all that we're doing around the world. Now just join the 700 Club. A portion of every gift goes into the preaching of the gospel around the world. Another portion goes into helping people around the world. And you're a part of all of it when you call us. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Say yes. Abilene, Texas, 700 Club members saying, I'm going to founder this year, $5,000. Denver, Colorado, a 2,500 Club member saying, I'm going to founder $5,000. And then from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Here's a thousand club members saying I'm going to 5,000. Yes, That's all going into the challenge. Eight minutes. We want to go over the top. Call us. Eight minutes and nine seconds. 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? All right. Well, in this new DVD, Pat Robertson reveals how his personal prayers have been answered. He also wants to share what he's learned about prayer with you. Take a look. Well, it was one time my oldest son had this fever. He was burning with fever. 
He was beginning convulsions, and I thought, if he keeps that up, he's going to have brain damage. So I was on my knees, and I was just crying out to God, God, please heal him, please heal him, please heal him, please, please heal him. And the Lord suddenly gave me a little revelation of the difference between me and him. And he said, look, you think you love this boy. I love him a thousand times more than you do. Mm. And you don't have to talk me into doing something good for him. I'll do something good for him. At that moment, instead of holding on to my problem, I released that problem to the Lord. And I said, all right, God, I offer him up to you. And I consciously lifted him up. The power of God touched him and the fever broke just like that. The Bible says the prayers of the righteous availeth much, not little. When in doubt, pray. You know, prayer works. It works every time. And we want to encourage your faith with this. It's called Answered Prayer. This is Pat's new teaching, how to get, how to pray and how to get answers. We want you to have it. Just go to your phones right now, 1-800-700-7000, or you can log on to CBN.com and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Again, it's just 65 cents a day, $20 a month to do so much with so little. But when we bring it all together, it does make a big difference. We're in the middle of a big challenge, and I want to put that number up for you, $286,000 with six minutes left on the clock. That means every dollar that you pledge right now will be doubled. Gordon? Okay, we're adding to that challenge. Partners from Michigan want to add 83,000 to it, taking it up to 369,000, and let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for the increase that comes from you, 30, 60, 100 fold. Do it, Lord, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 369,000, the red number is 113,000 with just five minutes and 44 seconds. So we need to hear from you. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, I'd like you to meet Den. He was already struggling to make ends meet as a single dad to his daughter, Grace. Even so, he welcomed his stepdaughter into his home after her mother abandoned her. Den was down to his last 60 cents when he received a hand up that tripled his income. Den is a single father. He's been raising his three-year-old daughter, Grace, ever since his wife took her older daughter and left. But Den has received help as a single parent from a child care center in Thailand supported by CBN's Orphan's Promise. I did not know how to take care of my daughter, but the staff here gave me lots of advice. I trust them because they have taken very good care of Grace. Den had provided for their needs at the only job he could find, working part-time at an aluminum shop. Then he learned that his six-year-old stepdaughter, Omi, was going to be abandoned at an orphanage. I was shocked. I was close to my stepdaughter and couldn't imagine why her mother would leave her too. Den decided to take in his stepdaughter and raise her too. But this put a huge strain on the family finances. When I'm hungry, my tummy hurts very bad. Dan remembers the day when he was down to his last 60 cents. I did not have money to buy food, so we went to my sister's house and ate a meal there every day for a month. I felt so discouraged. I wanted to do better for my daughters. Working with the local pastor, Orphan's Promise gave Den everything needed to start an aluminum shop at home. He now makes doors, windows, shelves, and other items for houses and businesses in the community. His income has tripled, and his children no longer go hungry. We feel God's love and acceptance through Orphan's Promise. Thank you for being like family to us. Oh, thank you, Orphan's Promise. Keeping families together is just a part of what we do. Thank you for making it possible. Gordon? All right, we're thanking those who are making this red number go down. Here's a 700 Club member from Rochester, New York. $5,000 from Norman, Oklahoma. 1,000 Club member going to founder. Yes. $5,000. From Dallas, Georgia, a 700 Club Gold member saying, I'm going to found her $5,000. And then from Marshall, Washington, a 2,500 Club member doubling, found her $5,000. We're under three minutes with 70,000. We need to hear from you. Call us 1-800-700-7000.
Well, Santos is a single dad who went hungry so that his three children could eat. He needed steady work that would also allow him to watch over his children. And that's exactly what he got thanks to Operation Blessing. Santos became a single parent of three after his wife passed away from cancer. Eight-year-old Andrea is the oldest. One day, my dad bought tortillas and bread, but only the kids ate. He didn't eat. Santos had sold everything to pay for his wife's medical care. Now he was forced to move around, looking for a place to live and to work. He always takes us with him, so we are safe. When someone wanted to hire me to work in the field, I said, I have to take my children with me because I cannot leave them alone. Santos finally found a place to live in exchange for caring for a landowner's cow. But he needed a more steady income for food and medicine. After Operation Blessing met the family, we gave them some emergency food. Then we built them a chicken coop and gave them 200 chickens to raise and sell. They gave me a chicken farm. I couldn't believe it. I help him to feed the chickens and give them water. I now make a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a month from the chicken farm. He sells the chickens and we're not hungry anymore. We feel so happy and we also give thanks to God. Just imagine children giving thanks to God because of what you did and how you cared enough to give. If that's you, be a part of it. Be a part of everything we're doing around the world. We're down to under a minute on this, and I've got some major gifts that have come in, but you can still be a part of it. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. We want to go way over the top on this. Here's a 700 Club member saying, I want to renew, and I want to increase, and I'm going to founder $5,000. Corpus Christi, Texas, a founder saying you can count on me, uh, $5,000. Aurora, Illinois. Here's somebody saying, I want to be a part of it. 5,400. Port Matilda, Pennsylvania. Founder. Yay. $6,000. 6, <laughs> We're down to 15 seconds. Stan, Sanford, Florida, 700 Club member going, I'm going to Chairman Circle. Yes. $10,000. Williamsburg, Virginia, founder doubling to Chairman Circle, 10,000. Then Rock Wall, Texas, a founder doubling to 10,000. Awesome. We're almost there, 2,000 in. We're gonna count everything on these phones and declare victory. I wait, need that two, two to, there, go. there it is, Woo. it goes green. We had a 300, it's huge, I forgot the number, 369. And I guess that you gave 370. Woo. Here's a word from Deuteronomy, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. God bless.